Take three. Oh, gotta take the e-brake off too. That will help. So I have sensorless vector mode working, and that allows me to control torque and speed, where my previous inverter only let me control speed. So my throttle pedal now controls motor torque. So if I step on the gas pedal, it drives like a normal car, and I can get up some speed, let off the throttle, the motor will just coast. That lets me shift into second gear. And instead of coasting, I can also do regenerative braking. Yeah, it drives a lot like a normal car would. Shift. And I can shift through all the gears. Now I'm in the third. And when I let off the, the throttle, I'm commanding zero speed at whatever torque this pot's set to. So if I slam on the brakes, uh, the motor's actually being commanded to stop just at a low torque. So this is what's inside my trunk. That's the inverter that I built. And this is the one that's running sensorless vector. And I have my DC-DC converter, which is a 60 amp IOTA unit. And this is my charger. As you can see, I'm pulling almost 20 amps at 240 volts. And I have a 300 amp fuse, which proudly has never blown. And there is my pre-charge contactor and my main contactor and my pre-charge resistor. Here's a picture underneath the car. That's the picture of the Siemens motor. And this is my motor mount bar right there that I built. I replaced the liquid filled motor mounts with solid rubber mounts because the old ones are failing. So this is the front of the car where the radiator would normally go. This is uh, my water pump. This is my encoder cable. Those are the cooling lines that go to the motor and this is part of the front battery rack. And this is a picture of what's underneath the hood. And I have uh, my vacuum pump right here. And I have a vacuum canister with a vacuum switch installed. So this is my DC bus voltage. when I turn the regen brakes on. Voltage is getting put back into the battery. And this is the speed feedback. This is the actual motor RPM. And I'm in first gear. Speed error is so big because I'm commanding very high speed but I'm limiting the torque so it, the motor wants to go 100 miles an hour but I'm only giving it enough torque to do 25 miles an hour. This is about top speed here 260 Hertz. So this is my motor current and we need to multiply this by 68 and I'm accelerating doing about 25 miles an hour now maintaining speed so cruising about 30 miles an hour, and we're drawing about 0.8 amps, and again multiply that by 68, and that's my motor current.